I'm stuffed. The food was simply scrumptious. <laughs> I know, right? I've never eaten such a luxurious meal. Very much Mustang style. After a satisfying meal, we head to our assigned accommodations. Let's see. Our room is... over here. Oh my! Wow! A pretty room! Bro, you sign up for this competition and you get housing and a very nice hotel too. Wait. Am I staying in a room with these two? Oh, okay. Are we all supposed to sleep in it together? You're right. There's only... Mm. Yes? Huh? One bed? Oh, okay, okay. <gasps> Soda and I frantically look around the room, but to no avail. <laughs> Let's check behind the corner. Maybe there's a bed there. Aside from the oversized bed in front of us, the area is bereft of other places to sleep. Not even a couch? Ooh, and it's so soft. Come and lie down, you guys. Well, we could do this. We could li we could lie on it sideways. Uh, uh, that's okay. I actually prefer sleeping on the floor. <laughs> In this outfit? No, you take the bed. Absolutely not. No, girl, come on. If someone were to come in here and, and see that I forced the girls to sleep on the bed, I would have an earful. I can't let you sleep on the floor. Well, I'm not gonna let you sleep on the floor either. Huh? Both of you are gonna sleep on the floor? Why? There's more than enough space on the bed. That's true, Alice. I could sleep on the edge. It's fine. To be polite. I can also sleep in the middle too. Mm. Alright then. I'll take the floor too. <laughs> and all three of us slept on the floor. I wanna sleep with you guys. Huh? Uh, don't you think it'll be a little strange for all of us to be sleeping on the floor when there's a big bed right in front of us? Yes, it's strange. This is all beyond the bed. Why don't we all just share the bed then? See, Alice is right. For Alice, sleeping separately clearly isn't an option. If that's the case, let's all sleep on the bed. Yahoo! It's fine. I want to sleep in the middle. There you go. Then squeeze it nice and tight between you two. Sure, that's a great idea. <laughs> After we've all taken a shower and laid down on the bed to sleep, I find myself feeling glad that I'm not right next to Soda. Really? Why? And Alice is so innocent, I feel like, again, to her, it's just like a sleepover. Dot dot dot. My left shoulder still feels a bit stiff. I hope the game tomorrow isn't as physical. Slowly, I drift off to sleep. The next morning. Alright, let's see what other shenanigans occur. I wake into the feeling of warm sunlight on my face, a soft bed underneath me, and... Soft hair? With some trepidation, I open my eyes. <laughs> I'm startled to find Alice's face dangerously close to mine. Rubbity? Uh, morning, Alice. <laughs> Did you sleep well? Yes. Yeah. Are you both up? Good morning. Good morning, Twinkling Bunny. Were you already up, Soda? Yeah. I woke up earlier and have been tidying up. Mm, old habits. The place was so clean that there wasn't much to do. But I figured that a day had passed and some dust might have gathered. <laughs> Whoa, this place is sparkling clean. While I was cleaning, I made a promise to myself. I'm not going to make mistakes during the competition. You, you tell yourself that, Soda. We got this. Fantastic. I'll make the same promise. 
promise to myself as well. Let's all do our best out there, everyone. All right. Let's do this. Now that I think about it, did, he even, did I even bring a change of clothes? Did these two just sleep in their bunny outfits? 